Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the f this is the first lecture of the dynamic programming series. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about staircase problem. So the problem is relatively easy as compared to the uh, other concepts. So it is uh, it is good to start from a, a relatively easy problem to introduce while you are going to introduce some of the concepts. So that is why I have chosen this to be the first problem. So the problem is you are given n and you have to reach the nth stairs starting from zeroth stair and all you can do is take a jump of one or two stairs so you have to tell how many ways you can reach the nth stair starting from zeroth stair so if we take the example so this is solution of first four n's so if n is equals to one there is only one way that is you can uh, reach one at the stair starting from zero by taking a jump of one you can reach second stair by two ways either by taking two jumps of length one that is one one or directly taking a jump of length two starting from zero to stair for n is equals to three result is three n is equals to four result is five for n is equals to four these are the all possible five ways the first one is one 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 other one is 1 and then taking a jump of 2 and then 1. Third is 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1 and 2, 2. These are all 5 and only 5 configuration or ways you can reach 4th uh, stair starting from 0th stair. Now let's make some important observation or simply observations. While you are solving dynamic programming problem, it is important for you to uh, try to build the solution of nth uh, for n is equals to n from uh, previous n's or basically previous steps for nth step try to derive the solution for nth step from previous steps from m minus one -th step or m min uh, sorry n minus one -th step or n minus second step something like that it is important to uh, build the solution bit by bit or step by step starting from the very basic step so there is a question if uh, after m number of steps you are on the nth stair say you took five steps and you are on the seventh stair right so after m number of steps you are on the nth stair so what stair you were at m minus one -th step that is what st uh, what stairs you were at fourth step so in the fifth step you are on seventh stair so in the fourth step what stair you would have been at what are the possible ways is it possible that on the fourth step you are on first stair and on the fifth step you have jumped from first to seventh that is not possible right because all you can do is make a jump of either one or either two so if after m steps you are on the nth stair so in m minus 1th step you must be either on n minus 1th stair or n minus 2nd stair because these are the only possibilities from where you can reach nth stair in the next step right so solution of n is somehow connected to solution of n minus 1 and n minus 2 right does it seem familiar to you in anyhow does it seem familiar that you have seen something like this sorry if you see it carefully you can see there is something similar to fibonacci series the result of n that is n of fibonacci number depends upon previous two terms and that is something here because uh, if after m steps you are on the nth stair so in the previous step you might have been either on the n minus one -th or n minus second stairs it is something related to fibonacci series right but what we can't exactly tell so let's see what the theory says so, that, so if there are or uh, if there are x ways to reach n minus one -th stair and y ways to reach n minus second stair then there are x plus y ways to reach nth stair see if there are x ways to reach n minus 1th stair and y ways to reach n minus second stairs then there are x plus y ways to reach nth stair why is that so 
so see if you can reach the n minus 1th stair in x different ways then you can reach uh, then in those x combination you can simply add one more step that is length one jump and you can jump from n minus 1 to n directly so if there are x ways to reach n minus 1 there are x ways to reach n and if there are y ways to reach n minus 2 then in all those y configuration you can simply add a jump of length 2 to reach n right so it also adds to the configuration of n that is why to reach nth stair the total number of configurations would be x plus y if number of ways to reach n minus 1 is x and n minus 2 is y to make it uh, to make this claim more concrete uh, let's see this thing this picture which shows suppose there are two points point a to point b there are x ways right you can reach from a to b in x different ways and from b to point c in y different ways then total number of uh, ways to reach from a to c is actually x minus y sorry x into y why uh, you can take the first way and then you can take first way from a to b and then there are y ways to reach c from there so this would be y different this would lead to a y different configurations then you can take the second way from a to b and then again for it there are y ways so again y configuration and and if you keep on doing this there are there would be x into y different ways to reach from a to c now that is what happening here from 0 to n my this is 0 and this is n minus 1 for now from 0 to n minus 1 there are x ways from n minus 1 to n there is only one way because from n minus 1 to n you have to take jump of length 1 right so if i take a length 1 jump from n minus 1 i would be on n of course so there are x ways from 0 to n minus 1 one way from n minus 1 to n so in total there would be x into 1 that is x ways to reach from n minus 1 to n same argument can be made for n minus 2 to n there are y ways to reach from 0 to n minus 2 and then there is one way to reach after taking a step of length 2 to reach from uh, n minus 2 to n so the total number of ways would be y into 1 that is y that is why to reach from a to c there would be in total x plus y ways to reach from 0 to n sorry so what it tells is that this is uh, uh yeah there is a uh, first let me conclude on here so what it tells is that to find the solution of n all you gotta take all you gotta do is take the sum of previous two uh, steps so result of n is equals to uh, result of n minus 1 plus result of n minus 2 which is exactly Fibonacci series uh, but that series start from the series that we are working that is this start from 1 and 2 because first two terms are 1 and 2 then the rest can be uh, derived from those two terms because it's a recursive uh, uh, recursive series which depends upon previous two terms so you have you must define first two terms of it and then the rest can be uh, derived using those two terms now uh, in the next step I'm going to show you another way to see or observe the same thing see uh, from n minus 1 and n minus 2 we can reach n right so if there are x ways that is there are three ways of n minus 1 then there would be three ways to reach n if you simply append one at the end of it so these are all configuration to reach length 3 right 1 1 1 2 1 and 1 2 all you have to do is take the last step as 1 so just append 1 at the end of each of the configuration so you see 1 1 1 1 which was 1 1 1 here and then 2 1 1 and then 1 2 1 so it would result into uh, of in total the sum would be of length 4 of course 
and the total number of configuration are same for this as total number configuration of n minus 1 now for for the second case you can reach n is equals to 4 from n is equals to 2 by taking a step of length 2 so how many configuration of length 2 are there there are only two configuration of length 2 that is 1 1 and 2 append 2 at the end of it which indicates the last step of mine is of jump 2 so append 2 at the end of it and it would result into two different configuration that is 1 1 2 and 2 2 overall the total number of configuration would be 5 and these are the all five configuration so what it tells you is that take the number of configuration of n minus 1 append 1 at the end of it indicating the last step is 1 or uh, that would result into configuration of 4 and then take the uh, configuration of n minus 2 append 2 at the end which indicates uh, the last step of us was of jump 2 and then just simply add those all configuration and you would be having a solution of length n so if you look at the implementation the iterative implementation since we have to print the result modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so we have taken an integer array dp of 10 to the power 6 so first two elements of are 1 and 2 as we have seen uh, to reach first stair only one possible way to reach second stair only two possible ways so dp of n represents number of ways to reach nth stair so from 3 to 10 to the power 6 you can run a loop and ith uh, result of i depends upon depends upon or you can say is sum of previous two terms simply take modulo of them and this is your result so this is uh, init that is initialization phase and after initializing it each time you can read n and then simply print solution of it and that can be done in constant time so you take big of n time to uh, pre-process -pre all the queries or pre-process pre the array and then in constant time you can print solution of big of n now there is a problem on code chef uh, link i'll be putting in the description so you are required to solve that problem on your own the problem is now the example that i took here you can take either a jump of one or a jump of two in that problem you can also take a jump of three that would be a really good exercise for you to find out the solution on your own and since you have knowledge of this this algorithm or this thing now you should be able to derive the solution for that problem as well that is not much different from uh, from the algorithm that we have just uh, derived so that should be an easy task for you so the problem link i'll be putting in the description you are required to solve that problem on your own and submit it it is an easy problem so good luck for that so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you